Greetings. One of the basic questions from permutations and combinations is how many ways the below words can be arranged. If I take the first one, judge. Let me take the first one. J U T G E. So, how many ways can we arrange this word judge? See, for example, I can arrange like this. J U D G E. This is one way. And other way is say. I just interchange these two J D U G E, or I can go J U D E G, or J D G U E, so on. So how long we do? Th so how long we do this way? So this will take lot of time, right? So there is a very simple shortcut or technique, a very simple technique we have to solve these kinds of problems. So just to count number of letters involved in this word J U D G E. So total, so total we have five letters, right? And these five letters, out of these five letters, no letter got repeated, or so they are non-repeated. That means whenever these kinds of problems are given to you. You have to always segregate like this: repeated and non-repeated. See, so you have two varieties of problems: non-repeated letters. This is case one. This is case one, and case two is repeated letters. Okay. So we have couple of cases. Now, as of now, we have the word judge. In this judge, no letter is repeating. So therefore, as the total count is five letters, we can arrange the word in five factorial ways. Okay, five factorial means what? Five multiplied by four, three, two, one. So if you multiply this, you get this way one twenty. So like this, we can arrange in one twenty ways for this word judge. Okay. So generally, n factorial. Is equal to n multiplied by n minus one factorial. All right, it's very simple. Let's go for second one machine. Let me take the second one as machine. So m a c h i n e. So number of letters we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And none of the letters are repeating in this word. So as we have seven letters, so we have seven letters in the word machine. So therefore, seven factorial ways we can arrange. Yeah, seven multiplied by six multiplied by five, so on up to one. You have to multiply and get its answer. It's very simple, right? And again, <coughs> see. This you have to take care of. None of the letter in this word they are repeating, so therefore directly we can take seven factorial ways. Now let's go for next one, engineering. So we have a word, e n g i, n e e r i n g. Okay. So first of all, we have to count number of letters in this word. See one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so on, eleven, right? So we have total eleven letters. So as we have eleven letters, so take eleven factorial in the numerator, okay? Divided by. Now you see, in this word, the letter e is appearing thrice, okay? So whenever we have repeated letters, those quantities take always in the denominator. So here, as we have three e's, so three factorial, okay. And also you see you have three n's, okay. So therefore you take multiplied by three factorial for three n's. And also you see, let me take another color. And also you see you have two i's. This is i i. So as we have two i's, two factorial for two i's, and also we have uh, anything else we have? Yes, also we have g, and also we have g, 
appear twice so again two factorial that's it this is the answer for this uh, question so you can arrange the word engineering in this way okay so 11 factorial divided by this stuff so this three factorial it's because you repeated twice not twice you repeated thrice okay and this one this is for this e see because also we have n repeated n repeated thrice similarly we have two factorial here so i repeated twice i repeated twice and this two factorial see here we have this g g also repeated twice so g also repeated twice so whatever repetition quantities we have in a word and those quantities we should take in the denominator okay whether things are repeating or not first of all whatever letters we have in this the number of letters always take as its factorial in the numerator okay it's simple let me go for uh, let me go for uh, mathematics okay similarly similarly you can solve mathematics so you you please solve this mathematics and post your answers in the comment section below okay thank you thank you bye